so for that because we are going to do everything on server let's just get rid of the router okay and these things as well we get back to our basic stuff and then there are two functions you know data uh, data fetching functions which are available with nextjs which we are going to use i'll first show you the documentation so that uh, you are aware of what we are doing right now so go into the docs you need to go into data fetching I'll close the example and so here is it it says you know in the pages documentation we have explained that nextjs has two forms of pre-rendering static generation and server side rendering in this page we will talk in depth about data fetching strategies for each case now these functions are static generation functions which means these functions are available at build time which means when the pages are created by nextjs okay and th these are not available on the front end so you have to be a little careful of what function you are using in what sequence and for what purpose now it exposes two functions one is get static props and get static paths so let's uh, let's first use the first function which we need which is export async function get static paths and in here this function basically wants to know what are the valid paths for this particular you know kind of url okay we are not limited to um, you know, any number of uh, variables or combinations we need to define how many types of paths we are expecting so the format is let's just say when it comes to hard-coded set of paths we have an array okay we can do params and then category is web the web is a string so we need to do that and let's just have travel as well okay and we return paths fallback oops fallback is false and now we will look at what fallback is in a minute okay and let's just try to run this i think it will fail will it yeah it fails because it says that we have added get static paths but we haven't added get get static props okay and this is very important we need to define both of them for the page to work so as they're saying let's just define them so what are we going to do in that function now we are defining what paths are available or what are the valid paths in this particular case and to get that data for this component to work with we need to define this particular um, function it provides the data as props to the component okay so constant category equals params dot i think it's params dot category i'll show you how this is coming up <clears throat> and return now this return basically what it will do is the this function as you understand is executed while the server side rendering is happening okay so this function adds certain kinds of data as props to the component okay so we define props and we define category which means through this function i can send anything to the component as props okay i can even do after the category i can do something like name as amitav and you we can we will see that this variable will be available in our component 
this category okay, like so and we can do category and name okay so let's save it and we can already see it is complaining that Amitav is not a valid page okay what about this it says it's a valid page which is good thing and okay I don't have the react tool on brave which is a problem okay never mind so let's just add category and name save and you can see i'm getting both these variables as props okay these are props to the component because we have sent it through this function so let's just recap what we have done at first you know, when when the static generation is going to happen we are telling the server that hey you know what these are some of the paths which are valid path okay and you need to work with them the server knows and it generates all those uh, urls now this is done they know the paths are ready and the server understands that these are valid urls we have also said that fallback is false and what true does is something which we will look uh, after this explanation the next thing is we need to pass this you know dynamic category to the component right so what we did what we did was after generating the paths this path is going to be available i mean we need to send the category as a variable to this uh, component which is going to render as a prop okay so this is how we get that okay inside params we get another params because this is how we have structured it i can do anything else with this like page or something else and then it will change but let's keep it params so params dot params dot category and that's the data which i'm passing and additionally i added a hard-coded data here as well okay so this got executed and when the component was loading it automatically got these two variables as props and we were able to get this over here right and now let's look at an important piece which is the fallback what does the fallback do the fallback falls says that if there is nothing which matches these then we do a 404 but if we don't if we say fallback is true right so web is fine travel is fine and we would have seen that before we were trying to do Amitav Roy it was giving a 404 because it was not in the part of the defined routes however in here right now it is allowing us to do so because the fallback is fall, uh, from true sorry from false we have made it true which means it will allow certain variables which are not defined in the list if I make it false again refresh okay and refresh this page I get a 404 this is the beauty of having static generated file um, files plus you do have the ability to get pages which are not in this list so which means if there is something really dynamic you can generate the ones which are already available with you and you can keep the flexibility that the ones which were not created can be created on runtime from the server side piece of next.js and it will be rendered as well because you can see that when this is true Amitav Roy in the URL does give me that category so I can you know pretty much check for this and I can fetch data so yeah that that's the beauty of the latest features of next.js where you don't need to define or make a decision upfront whether you want everything to be statically generated or everything is dynamic if you know that certain things are already with me you generate them as static pages and the ones which are not there they will get generated when you know it is it is being discovered so as to say so yeah so this is how we okay there are a lot of ads nowadays on brave um so yeah this is how uh, i would say you know the dynamic routes are created we saw how dynamic routes are 
handled when you know we are using next as the front end part of it you know uh, without the server side rendering because then we were able to use uh, the use router from next slash router and we can get the query parameters okay those are not server pro server props we need to understand there are two different types of proper props one is server side and one is front end side right so yeah client side props are different server side props are different we were able to use client side props and get you know the parameters in our component and then we used these static variable uh the, the static methods get static paths and get static props to get those parameters before the you know the server uh, renders the pages and uh, we were able to create those you know, predefined routes so that's about it in the next video we will look at other parts of next.js as well